Ladies and lads, we are back again, well with another deck profile. This time, as you can tell, we're not using the computer, so it's gotta be a little special, and it is. So this is the non-budget version of the Dark World deck, and my completed Dark World deck, Dark World Dangers in particular. And uh, the good thing about this, well, even though it's not the budget variant, it still costs under $100, $120. So if you're getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! like myself, this is perfect for you. And it's very fun, and like my OG deck, Light Swords, you never know what you're going to make. So uh, really fun deck to play, really fun deck to uh, take to your locals, just uh, have fun with. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Just shout out to the, uh, probably at this point, eight-year-old light sworn sleeves you can tell they're getting uh this isn't dirt this is the uh paint flaking off but uh i don't want to get rid of them i like them uh for those of you that know me i'm uh originally a light sworn guy but moving on so we're gonna get right into the deck profile starting with the main deck and of course what is a dark world deck without its big boss monsters we run triple grapha and we love grapha uh, you discard Grapha, you get to pop a card on the field. Not only that, he gets us into our bigger boss monster. I'll let you think about who that is. What's his name? Bigger Grapha. He lets us get into bigger Grapha, and then on top of that, he also bounces cards back to hand. Two special summon, level 8, uh, so you can get into level 8 plays. And then with the field spell, he's a 3,000 beat stick, so we love our triple Grapha. Next, we go on to our new... Dark World card, Rainbow, Over King of Dark World. So, uh, why do we run him? Well, when you discard him, you get to search Grapha. We love that. It basically uh, puts one in the chamber, one in your hand for uh, Dark World cards in your hand. And then on top of that, when he's discarded by opponent's card effects, you get to special summon one level four or lower monster to your side of the field or your opponent's side. So you can throw Cerulee onto the other side, get that opponent discard effect and... Uh, start ripping cards out. But next we run into our one Silva, Warlord of the Dark World. Uh, he's great, he special summons himself, level kinda doesn't work for us, but he special summons himself, he's pretty beefy, especially with the field spell. And then on top of that, <laughs> Silva lets us rip two from the hand of our opponent, which is <laughs> very convenient, especially going turn one, because it's hard to play Yu-Gi-Oh with only four cards in your hand when you start. So moving on, uh, arguably one of the best uh, Dark World cards out there. Actually, they're all pretty equal. But, <laughs> uh, Genta. Genta, Gateman of the Dark World. Discard to search. Field spell. Field spell. You banish one and discard one. Basically pops effects off. Get to draw one. So it's draw power. You get the special amount. Uh, this is one of the only Dark World cards that has a hard once per turn effect. And that is banish to summon. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, but other than that, we love Genta. We love hand looping with Genta. Next, uh, one of the most important searchers in the deck. Uh, Snow, Unlit, Light of the Dark World. Snow, you search anything with this. Uh, the targets you really want to go for is either Rainbow or Genta to get the play started. Or uh, Dark World of Sessions if you have uh, the field ready to go. If you have uh, a way to get into Appaloosa, if you want to just end board on Appaloosa and Big Grapha and pass, uh, it's, it's a pretty beefy deck to get a, get around. Uh, next, run Triple Beige. A lot of people are iffy about this, but I love Beige. Beige is just free material to get in your rank four plays, which this deck is phenomenal at. Uh, this deck can get into rank four plays easily, uh, which is why when you see our extra deck, tons of rank fours to use. Uh, but beige is just, uh, it's a non once per turn special summon when discarded, which is uh, great. And he's a priest, pretty beefy. He gets up to 1900 uh, for a level four. So that's that's good stuff. Uh, and then our last Dark World card, we go into Cerulee Guru of the Dark World. Uh, of course, he's special to the opponent's side of the field. And well, your opponent discards a card. And that gets us into our secondary effects for a lot of our Dark Worlds, which is uh, what we like doing. We like ripping hands. Uh, so now we're going to get into our danger support, and I'll just go ahead and have all these out here. So now we run Triple Bigfoot. Uh, now why Bigfoot over Nessie? Uh, more times than not, I've, riot, I've ran out of board space to summon things in. So being able to just pop cards to me is very important. Uh, it'll get rid of boss monsters that don't have any protection, uh, which is really good and help, helps you advance the deck, uh, especially if you're going second. 
so it's just something to keep the balance a little bit on your end, especially if you don't get to go first. Uh, Danger Troops, we love Danger Troops. Best thing, Dark, level four, and it's a Fiend. So uh, it works for this deck really well. On top of that, uh, it does have extra summoning power if you have Dangers in your graveyard and he gets, well, he gets flown out, you don't get to summon him, but you get to summon one that's already in the grave. Uh, so that works out for us. And we have him in the Prismatic Rare, which is sick. Danger Mothman, he's basically, like I mentioned in the previous video, Dark World Dealings on Legs. Love to see him. And then finally, Danger Jackalope, our one of Danger. Uh, more summoning power. Uh, and then it's from the deck too, which is awesome. So we love Danger Jackalope. Uh, unfortunately, it's a level three, but it still does the deck good. Moving on to our uh, non-archetypal monster support, Zalmander Catalyzer and Blackwing Zephros the Elite. Uh, so... I love these two cards. So uh, basically the way this card works is you reveal one other monster that's in your hand. It can be either, you know, anybody actually. It can be Rainbow, Graffa, uh, Beige, anybody. So you reveal that and then you get to either special summon that card you revealed or this card to field and discard the other one. So a lot of times you'll want to special summon this card, have your other card discarded. You get to pop off their effect and you have a special summon level four to get in your rank four place which is a uh, little well, killer. So this is awesome. Uh, and then especially if, you, if you're at your last straw, you have beige in hand, you just do this beige. He'll special summon out, discard effect, beige special summons out, get into a rank four play. Do Garrus, do Garrus to discard, or discard, detach and draw two, discard one, which is broken. Uh, your first turns take a while. So uh, that's the reason why I mainly play against bots online is because everybody usually quits by the time I'm done making board. Blackwing Zephyrus, just another uh, dark level four, get into rank four place. And that concludes our monsters, guys. So now we're moving on to our spell cards. So of course we need to run triple gates, triple gates. It's just the play extender um, or starter, more so extender. Um, it adds uh, attack points to more things, which is, uh, or it adds attack points to dark worlds, which is, we love that, you know, every bit counts. And then on top of that, uh, it's banish one, discard one, draw one. So discard one, you get to activate effect with Genta if you banish Genta for the hard ones per turn. Uh, you get to have a free level four on the field and then um, discard, you get whatever discard effect you like. So that card's broken. Uh, you can reactivate that effect by using Genta to discard to search to reactivate uh, Gates of the Dark World. So you can just keep reactivating that effect um, over and over again, which is sick. Uh, and then we've got our Dark World Dealings. We love Dark World Dealings because it's a uh, draw one, discard one, and uh, well, this deck runs off discard, so not much to explain there. Now for our one ofs, we have Dark World Accession. Dark World Accession gets us into our big place. Searchable by Snow, so we run one of. We don't need any more than one Dark World Accession. Uh, on top of that, if you discard it, you can bring it back using um, its effect to bounce back to hand and discard one. So it it also lets you discard more, more effects. The card's amazing. You don't need to run more than one of it. Uh, and then on top of that, Dark World Archives. Dark World Archives is pretty broken. Uh, insane draw power. You get to add attack to your monsters. Uh, and then on top of that, you get to um, <laughs> discard more and draw more. More, more rounds in the chamber. Uh, Dark World Puppetry, it's basically DD Crow, uh, three, all three at once. And then you also get to discard, which is uh, awesome. So I love that. It's also got a graveyard effect too. Um, I don't, I barely use it. So let me see. Uh, you can banish this card from a graveyard, then target one of your banished fiend monsters, add it to your hand. You can only activate one dark world puppetry per turn. So the only case where I would see that is maybe you uh, specialed, you, you use dark world uh, gates or you specialed your big grapha and you need that card back, but I never use it. Uh, and finally, card destruction. This card just pops every effect in your hand off, which is uh, <laughs> awesome. So don't be, don't don't ever be afraid to use card destruction. It's usually a minus one, but in this deck, uh, it can be used for so much more. Next, so now we're getting our extra deck. We run two of our big Grapha. So big Grapha, killer card right here. So uh, I'll just go ahead and read it in all its glory. When your opponent activates a monster effect or normal spell trap card. 
while you have cards in your hand going back you can activate this effect you get to basically discard one because it's your opponent discarding you or the opponent's opponent um you can only use effect of grapho once per turn uh if fusion summon leaves the control uh, bleh, if this fusion summon card leaves the field your field you can special summon one of uh grapho little grapho that is banished during your graveyard and then each player discards one card so uh it helps pop off effects and then also gives you a level eight to work with after he leaves field which is nice but uh then we move on to our links got a lot of links um these are just you know you never know when you'll need them and they're shiny uh boral sword dragon boral sword you know if something has a beefy amount of attack like anything over 3000 and that's the only thing on field you swing into it you use its effect and it's it's done you got it you got game uh borlo dragon realistically guys he's just shiny and he goes with portal sword so I, he's there i've never used them i use them to like you know maybe flaunt a bit but that's about it so you're just cauldron i don't really use this card as much as i thought i would but uh we really like to make them with uh all four so when this card's linked summon you get to draw four cards place three on the bottom of your deck in any order so it's a plus one which is which is nice, um, but he's, he, he doesn't really stay on field too long. Appaloosa, uh, so big play for this deck is Appaloosa, uh, our first mate IP going to Appaloosa. You're not getting the full attack benefit of Appaloosa when you do this, but you're getting an indestructible Appaloosa, well, indestructible enough. And on top of that, you're not only landing on Appaloosa, you're going to have something like Baguska or um, Hope Harbinger. You're basically just throwing the gates on the opponent's way in the opponent's way which is uh what we're really going for there um so moving on we've got our appaloosa and then i kind of hit him in the back earlier but uh we're going into our black luster soldier black luster soldier with full protection is so easy to make in this deck uh you can special summon level eights uh out of out of your behind it's it's a no-brainer this this card alone can sometimes out people's whole entire decks so we run uh just one of them and he's also very shiny, which we like. So uh, next, we move into IP Mascarina. IP Mascarina just makes uh, Appaloosa, or if you want some sort of interruption, you can make IP Mascarina on your opponent's turn. I don't really do that, but you can. Uh, lastly, last link, Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix is just another discard, and you get to destroy one spell trap. Your opponent controls, and on top of that, uh, culling monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. So you'll really have indestructible Appaloosa then. Or uh, you could just anything that points to the right, uh, indestructible, which is sick. We love it. So now getting into our X's place. So we have Hope Harbinger, uh, two Graphas, or maybe Rainbow, maybe Bigfoot. Basically, your spell negates, and then on top of that, you can redirect the tax, which is sick. So we love that. Um, and then we get into Baguska. Bagu uh, Baguska basically says no to Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't play. Um, it's a good card to have if you don't have enough material to extend all the way and get maybe your big graph on Appaloosa. Uh, Baguska and Appaloosa do well. Uh, it's a pretty pretty hard board to break for most people. Uh, Dark Rebellion next East Dragon. So now we're going, well, let me let me do this one first. Uh, Dugaris, Dugaris, you always want to make them if you don't have the best of hands. Uh, you draw two, discard one. You skip your next draw phase. That doesn't hurt at all. You never hurt for cards in this deck. Uh, you discard one, and uh, it pops off more effects, and then you also plus one, which is awesome. So, uh, the Gears Timeless is a must-have. You'll only really use them for the drawing effect. Uh, now we're getting into our outing cards slash one control card. Outing cards, if you've got a, an opponent's monster with beefy ass attack. Uh, Dark Rebellion X Siege Dragon. This is crazy. It, it basically siphons attack off your opponent's monster. Uh, it'll do really well really really well um i've used this card a lot actually to out cards but um number 101 silent honor arc you never know when you're gonna have to take control of an opponent's monster or use it as uh material if you can't out it by battle or it can't be destroyed silent honor arc it's rank four easy to make perfect card in that situation abyss dweller well a lot of decks nowadays mine included uh activate effects in grave so um yeah that basically says no so that concludes our main deck extra deck and unlike this last time we have extra deck or side deck side deck 
goes and match this card if you have to run it i'm sorry but this card if you do run it each player can only control one attribute of monsters send all other face of monsters to control the graveyard in a dark world deck that's broken there's only a couple monsters that aren't dark so you'll be able to play just fine the other opponent can't really speak for it like warriors or just uh what you might call it some, some spellcaster decks a lot of decks aren't one attribute anymore so might be an instant win if you run into that turn one uh system down uh this one's really just kind of old i haven't really ran into cyber dragon players in a very long time so uh this was from back of the days of old uh when i would keep it inside deck i've just never really thought to dig it out you never know skill drain skill drain sick uh activate this card by paying a thousand life points and negate all effects of your face up monsters while they're uh face up on the field uh so basically nobody gets to play Yu-Gi-Oh until this card's buffed which is um it's cool i mean so the good thing about dark worlds is their effects activate primarily in grave so as long as you got big beat state you're good you win uh dark ruler no more if uh say you got like uh dragoons or something on the other side of the field well well i mean if enough said this this is single-handedly a, a board breaker uh you can break boards with this card and then you just pop off you win so uh that concludes our deck profile and uh i'll be having combo tutorial so here's the thing is just a heads up you only really need Genta, and I would say you just really need Genta in hand and Snow. You need to run into Snow to run any kind of combo you want. This deck could go like a million ways in terms of combos, but uh, I will be doing a profile soon. Not a profile, a uh, combo tutorial later, uh, and I will also be showcasing some of the duels I've been having with this deck online. This deck's awesome. Let me know what you think about the deck down below and let me know what you're playing i want to uh converse with somebody but uh thanks for watching guys go ahead and like subscribe for more and i'll see y'all next time